Hi guys, welcome to our daily encounter. As we continue in the book of Genesis, and we read about the story of the famine that had hit not only Egypt, but the land of Canaan to the north, uh, we see uh, Jacob and his sons needing grain from Egypt. And Jacob continues to show reluctance and resistance to sending Benjamin down into Egypt. Uh, the first time he only sent 10 of his sons down because he didn't want to send Benjamin. Benjamin was the last son that he had, at least he thought that he had, uh, of the sons that he had from Rachel. He thought that Joseph was dead. But um, because he thought that Benjamin was the only one left, he couldn't bear the thought of losing Benjamin. And so they go down into Egypt, and it's believed that this was the reason why Joseph gave the brothers such a hard time and why he insisted on them bringing down Benjamin. This was all the means by which Joseph would get to see his brother once again, his brother through uh, through his mother, Rachel. And so all of this problem really arises from Jacob not wanting to send Benjamin down. Uh, even in our reading today, as they go back into Egypt and, you know, time passes on, they run out of the grain that they received from Egypt. And they really uh, waste a lot of time not going back down into Egypt because they knew that Joseph had said, you cannot come back for grain unless you bring Benjamin with you. But Jacob still is reluctant to send Benjamin down. And it's only when uh, Judah basically convinced the father that, hey, if you don't send Benjamin down, we're all going to die, even the little ones, that Jacob finally says, okay, I'll I'll let him go. Uh, if something happens to him, so be it. But it's very hard for Jacob to let go of Benjamin and to even think of ever losing Benjamin. And because of that, everyone suffers. Everyone is not able to receive the food that they need, the nourishment that they need, because Jacob doesn't want to let go of his cherished son, Benjamin. And as we think about this from a spiritual context, uh, there might be times in which we do the same thing. We might be like Jacob in that we resist uh, doing the work of the Lord, bringing benefit to other people because of our unwillingness to let go of certain things. Perhaps we don't want to let go of our time. Our time, perhaps, to us is very precious. And we don't want to give up our time. We don't want to give up our weekends or we don't want to give up our Saturdays going and working in the community or doing other things that perhaps the Lord has laid on our hearts. Uh, we don't want to be involved in sharing the gospel with people. Uh, we have too many other things we are busy about and we don't want to spend time in those particular activities. Or maybe it's our money. We don't want to give up our money because... Uh, you know, I worked hard for that money or I've got a lot of things I want to purchase with that money. And I don't want to give up money helping uh, the unfortunate, uh, helping different ministries and things. I just want to hoard it all for myself. I don't want to let go of those things. Or maybe it's our energy. Maybe we realize we have a limited amount of energy. And as we think about doing the work of the kingdom, the work of the Lord, we just say, you know what, I can't, I, I can't give up that precious little energy that I have uh, to go out and encourage another brother or sister or to maybe engage in a Bible study or to uh, help out with, uh, you know, unfortunate um, kids, uh, homeless people, whatever it might be that uh, we could be doing that would be for the benefit our, of our fellow human beings. We don't want to give up something, so we hold back and we are reluctant to let go of these things, whether it's our time, our money, our energy, or, or any other thing that's holding us back. And because of it, other people are suffering. Other people are perhaps having to deal with uh, things that they wouldn't otherwise have to deal with if we would get involved, if we would roll up our sleeves and get busy and, and help other people. And so because we don't want to let go of something, other people continue to not be nourished, either physically, emotionally, or spiritually, 
but all the while because we're holding on to something we're not rendering aid and and not helping them in a way that would benefit them and so our reading today as we read about jacob wanting to hold on to benjamin we can use that as a means to reflect on our own lives are there things that we're holding on to that we just don't want to let go of even though we know that if we did let go of those things other people might be benefited and perhaps benefited eternally uh, if we would engage in certain activities and let go of other things so let's reflect on that today let's do some soul searching today and look at our lives and be willing to Bring to the Lord anything that we need to offer up before him, anything that we need to sacrifice for the benefit of our fellow human beings, uh, and be willing to do that, to be able to let go of Benjamin and, um, and to be able to render full service to the Lord and give the best benefit and aid to our fellow man. So with that, guys, I do thank you for watching the video today. Hope you guys have a great day. Love you guys. God bless.